Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Chris Moore. I'm the Director of Marketing for Sale Processing Division at Trumo BCT. And Dave Flayton, who was actually originally supposed to present today, was ill. And, and it's my honor to represent the team. So a couple of things. First, let me introduce Trumo BCT. We are the global leader in blood component, therapeutic apheresis, and cell processing products. Um, we have 4,800 uh, associates globally. We're headquartered in Lakewood, Colorado. It's a suburb right outside of Denver. Trumo BCT is about a billion dollar company, and our parent corporation, Trumo, is about a five billion dollar company. And the corporate mission, frankly, reflects why we've been so successful over the years. It's, it's innovative products and high quality uh, products themselves and high quality services. And so when this opportunity to speak came up, we asked for some feedback on exactly what, you know, what do people want to hear about from Trumo BCT. And, and, and we listened to that feedback, and ultimately it was, how do we get the automation that we have to everyone to enable whatever process that they're working on? And, and Trumo, because its, its history is more in the blood side, this market represents really unique challenges. And because of that, we had to introduce some really unique offerings. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about that, but before I get into that, I do want to touch on the automation that we, in fact, do offer. And, and the MaxSite presentation actually represented two of these platforms. So in cell collections, we're known uh, for the Cobe Spectra. It was in, on the market for a long time, the Cobe Spectra apheresis device. Recently, we, we launched a Spectra Apia apheresis system. In, in cell washing and collection, we have the Elutra cell separation system. It's very well known for monocyte enrichment and the 2991 cell processor, which is very well known as an open cell washing platform. And then in cell culture, and I'll spend, the, frankly, the most of my time talking about this, we have the quantum cell expansion system. We also have three sterile connecting devices that help keep processes closed. So let me get back to that point I made earlier about how do we get the automation that we provide to the most number of people that need it in the most unique situations. And, and you come back to the question of manual versus automated. And frankly, it's a no-brainer that automation at the right time makes the best sense, right? Uh, manual is very tech-dependent. It's very difficult to scale and introduces very complicated regulatory and, and quality risks. But what's interesting about that is, is the best time to adopt that automated platform or to convert a manual process to an automated platform is in early stage clinical trials. Because doing that early saves you a technology transfer fee, the technology transfer effort, if you will, and which oftentimes can lead to extended times to commercializations. But, but what's unique about that is, although the best time to do that is in early stage clinical trials, that is the most difficult time to do it. And why is that? Because frankly, you don't have the money. There's, there's not enough volume to justify the expense. And when you go out to a, a reference organization or a CMO, they don't offer the automation. And so a gap exists. A gap exists in this process. At the, the time it's most important to adopt the automation, it's not available. And so Trumo BCT, based on the feedback that we had in coming to this event, you know, we can fill that gap. These are some of the ways, some of the options that we have that allow our platform to be worked into the process. And the needs in the early stage clinical trials are very different than the needs in the late stage clinical trials and especially commercialization. And in early stage clinical trials, we actually have our own applications lab where uh, if you have a manual process, we can do a proof of concept. So you can send us material, you can send us the SOP, and we'll optimize and see what is it that our automation can provide to you. So what would the result be as a result of ad adopting our automation? If you don't want to send us the material, you don't want to share SOPs, that's fine. We can do on-site evaluations. And then one of the things that we hear is that, hey, this works great. We've optimized great results. We want to use the automation. But frankly, we have one phase one clinical trial. It's a very small number of patients. I still can't afford to buy this piece of equipment and then have it in my laboratory for the next three years until I might need it again. And so we have plenty of options there, too, including rental agreements. And then I'll add that for all of these studies, for any potential customer, you have full access to our world-class uh, customer service and support. And, and what does that look like? It's field-based experts in cell biology 
who are very used to taking a manual process and converting it into an automated process. And in phase three in commercializations, like I said, those needs change. Of course, the volume in some of these cases can justify capital acquisition, that's great. Um, in cases where that doesn't work, we do have usage agreements, so it's just a, a larger rental agreement, if you will. And then we have reference labs that do provide that automation that we can refer you to. And again, access to our world-class service and support. But a really critical message here, and I have a great case study at the end of the presentation to reflect how beneficial this is, is that we're open to any novel approach because as the market succeeds, we all succeed. And so we realize that we have to be very flexible to meet the needs of, of the individual, to meet the needs of the project at whatever stage it happens to be in. And so what do customers say to us about quantum? Well, first of all, let me show you an example of what this process looks like. So this is an allogeneic process of a customer who took 4 million cells through two passages, which look like over 128 flasks, and were able to harvest 2 billion cells at the end of that. If you've ever done manual cell culture, you see that number of flasks, and the thought of harvesting that is a nightmare. And the four people and the two centrifuges that you see there is a very real experience. So what we do, the, or at least our service and support team can do, is evaluate this process, understand what your goals are, and they can convert it to a quantum process. So take the same number of, uh, same volume, starting volume of cells. What we do is in this particular case, we took our hollow fiber bioreactor. This is, by the way, the quantum cell expansion system. And in one week, we can grow 2 billion cells and harvest those cells. This isn't the case in all situations. It's very cell type dependent and very donor dependent. But this is an example of what we can do with the automation. And so specifically, what do customers say to us? Well, our, the cell harvest uh, in the quantum system takes about 20 minutes. And again, if you've ever done this manually, you, you know the pains that the harvest process can, can, uh, can give you. Um, Secondly, it's, think of the quantum as a clean room, a biosafety cabinet, and an incubator all in one. So when you have that many flasks, the amount of space you need in the clean room is enormous. The number of open events that you have are enormous or significant. And, and quantum doesn't need that. It's a closed system. We're also told that the, um, the, the labor savings, we see a 70% labor savings as a result of that, which can be translated in, in one case study that we have available into a 40% reduction in cost. A couple benefits of that. One is the hollow fiber bioreactor provides a lot of surface area and a very small footprint. And secondly, the growth characteristics and the growth kinetics that we've seen out of the quantum system is equivalent to that to the manual process. And we have a lot of data and a lot of publications available actually on our website free for download. Um, so you can review the different cell types that we've worked with. So of the platforms that we offer, um, they're used in multiple different markets. Cell therapy, we've been very successful in. Immunotherapy, the COBE Spectra and the Spectra Optia are very successful in, as is the Elutra. But what's very exciting and I think is a, is a critical message to represent here, and I think the essence of this meeting, is the partnership and the benefits of those partnerships. And as we look at gene therapy, we actually had a partnership with UC Davis and Gerhard Bauer's lab at UC Davis. And we looked at what can the benefits of the quantum system bring to virus production. And it's very exciting. This is actually the first time we've unveiled, unveiled some of this data, and, and I'll share that with you. But first, let me tell you how it works. So, so uh, viral DNA is, is introduced into the quantum system, into the host cells. So in a typical situation, it's actually the cells that you're interested in. So we harvest the cells into what we call a harvest bag. In this situation, we're actually interested in the byproduct of those host cells. So we're interested in those virus particles. And so we can harvest those as well. And when we did this, the preliminary results uh, from, again, Gerhard Bauer's lab at UC Davis was that in, in these preliminary experiments, we were able to get a thousand-fold increase in, in virus particles harvested from the quantum versus compared to the manual method. And so this is enormous. This is a huge advantage. Again, a great example of, of partnering and a great example of how automation can bring a lot of benefits as, a, as somebody prepares for phase three, phase two clinical trials, and absolutely commercialization. 
So we have data ongoing here. We should have a full publication available next year that we're very excited about. Um, and actually, if this is something that is of interest, uh, Dr. Jim Belzer, who's in the back of the room, works for Trumo BCT, and he was a member of the team who worked on this at UC Davis. And, and he can walk you through exactly you know, what we can do on the quantum system to, prob to facilitate your needs. So in summary, Trumo BCT has is significantly dedicated to this market. We have a lot of platforms that have been around for a very long time. We're committed to making this market work. Secondly, we realize that there are gaps in the access to automation. And unfortunately, the gaps in the access to that automation is probably at one of the most critical times to adopt that automation. And we have plenty of opportunities to fill that. We have plenty of plans to, to help you fill that. And again, we're open to any novel approach because success of the market means success of everyone. And then lastly, as I just mentioned, we've been very successful in cell therapy. We have internal research going on now in immunotherapy that we'll be excited to share a little bit later. And then as a result of a fantastic partnership with Gerhard Bauer and his team at UC Davis, we have some tremendous results showing virus production significance, significant results of virus production from the quantum compared to the manual methods. And Trumo BCT, as I mentioned, is a billion dollar organization. Trumo, our parent corporation, is a five billion dollar organization. So we touch a patient's life every second of every day. That's extremely important to us. It's a mantra, uh, frankly, for Trumo BCT. And it's reflected in the quality products that we have and the quality of service that we provide. So thanks for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Chris Moore, and we actually, the Trumo BCT team has a table outside. We do have the quantum system. So we're happy to answer any questions you might have. And should you have an idea or, or a desire to work automation into your process, we're more than happy to discuss those things and find a way to make it work. So thanks again for your time.